What is up, folks? This is Aircast, and we're back here in the Underdark, and I just had to show you guys this. Look at this. 131,000 health for this guy? That's crazy. I couldn't kill him if I sat here for the next half hour and shot at it. That's just... That's ridiculous. I mean, I'm all for difficulty, but that's... That's crazy. Alright, so I realized that actually I probably should turn this off because I don't think my A system can handle it right now. So let's go ahead and do that and get out of here before I die. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back over here. Uh, is this the right direction? Um, I think we need to go along the X. Yeah, we need to go along the X axis. So it's going to be over here somewhere. I think. Maybe. Okay. Um, I'm going to find this place again real quickly because uh, this isn't the right direction. So I'll be right back in, when we get to the place that we showed you last time. Okie dokie, folks. So let's go ahead and head in here and see what's up with this. We might get horribly murdered, but that's up. So I'm guessing going through here. Okay, so we've got some doors. These are all colored bricks. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're just a... Uh, weird. Just random different logs. Anything special? No? Okay. Um... Hello, a zombie with 320 health. Yeah, see, for some reason I hit for a lot... I mean, I'll hit for different values. It's very strange. I didn't mean to break that. Die. Oh. Skellies. Now, this sword is actually kind of getting on my nerves. Um, because we'll just, like, accidentally hit blocks that we didn't mean to hit and break them. So, I wonder if there's actually anything here. I mean, I was kind of hoping for some cool stuff, but... Oh, actually, we should block off that door just so we don't have this happening. <laughs> yeah, see, we're hitting for thousands, tens of thousands of damage. Yeah, I was worried about that happening. Hey guys, come on. And that is really annoying, to be honest. Alright. Um, I need blocks of some sort. Okay. And we'll put it here. And break the bottom one just so we know where the way out is. Um, should we... I'm gonna... Mm, those are logs. Let's go ahead and mine up some of these blocks. Just so I can have something to place down. Because I didn't bring anything with me, which was kind of dumb. But... We all have our moments of thoughtlessness. <laughs> Alright, so... We've got a few blocks here. Let's go ahead and switch them out for these. Since we have more of those. Alright, so let's go ahead and light up the bottom floor first. That way we at least have an area conquered that we don't have to worry about too much. Now, is this going to lead outside again? It doesn't look like it. But man, there's just tunnels going everywhere. Hopefully I have enough torches. Uh, <laughs> I have a few stacks in one of my uh, my bags, but it's like a maze. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> let's just take out the wall. Don't worry about the the spiders. Let's just kill the wall. All right. So we've got another spawner here. Oh, we do have a chest, so we do have some loot here. Um, I don't have enough for all of these. But I will go ahead and use these on them. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And then a brick it. And we've got ourselves another stable box. Ooh, nice. Molten iron block. Huh. So we'll definitely want that. Miscraft pages are a pain in the butt to get all of them. So as many as we can pick up along the way is wonderful. Alright, um... What else do we 
And I guess that's fine for now. Well, we can come back and get the chest later if we really want. I don't know that I will. I might, but we'll see. I would definitely do it off camera. There's no reason to do it on camera. Okay, so let's see here. Alright, I think we've got most of this area lit up on this side at least. So let's go ahead and head back this way. It looks like another way outside. Okay, the skeletons are going to be able to shoot us from there. Looks like a nice little place to hide. <laughs> um, okay, let's go this way. Oh, we've got another spotter. And I, I do want quite a few of these. I've got, what, six now? Um, hmm. I think I might. Uncommon treasure. Thomcraft. Okay, so let's take a look at these, too. I've got these. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and head home real quick and then come back here after I've gotten some more of the Draconic um, stars. Uh, or are they cores, I think? Uh, draconic cores? Uh, and I've also gotten another bag that I can stick stuff in. So I will be right back. Okay, folks, so we're back. So I went ahead and made 10 of these Draconic Cores. I think anything more than that is going to be a little bit silly because I can go ahead and get them from other places too. So, um, But that allows us to go ahead and just grab a bunch of spawners while we're here. All right, so, and I also made the white, white, white ender pouch. And that way we can just dump stuff that we find in there. So let's go ahead and we've got a common treasure here. So let's see what this one's going to be. Uh, for that, we got 10 gold coins. Now, what those are used for, I have no idea. And unfortunately, whenever we change dimensions, our NEI goes away. Um, that's one of the problems I was hoping to fix, but it actually seems to have gotten worse. So, instead of it randomly, you know, disappearing when you transfer in dimensions, like go to the nether or, you know, go to the end, um, it just goes away, period. So, that's really unfortunate. Alright, so, and for this one, we got an ender pearl, a bottle of enchanting, a golden apple, and a fire resist potion. That's pretty nice. Uh, we could use some more bottles and enchanting so we can turn that quest in. Um, but we don't have those quite yet. But, yeah. Alright, so let's go and put this on our bar. That way we can block off things if we need to. And go back to exploring this place. Now, and you may have wondered in the past why I have this on my bar. Um, that's just for, well, there's no reason that it's really on my bar at the moment. It's just been there because I've been killing wither skeletons, so I guess I can put it away. But uh, in the past, it's mainly been there so that, yeah, well, I can kill wither skeletons and get a little more out of them than normal. Because that one has a 60, I think 60% 60 chance to behead mobs, so I should increase it a, a pretty good bit. Alright, so what do we got? All these colors are kind of playing with my mind a bit. <laughs> I'm like, uh, is that actually keep going? Oh, hello! I wasn't quite expecting that. I mean, I knew I'd be hitting zombies at some point, because I've been hearing them, but yeah. Okay. Hopefully there's nothing behind me. I haven't shown up yet. Anything over here? Okay, it just wraps around. Alright, good. And no spawners over here. Awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and use this on here. And get ourselves another spawner. Cool. Alright, some more eggs, a mundane ring, and a miniature red heart. And we do need to go and do that as well. I, I've been putting it off a bit, but, you know, it's been a while, and... We could really do with increasing our health, so that'd be nice. Um, we do have those in there right now. Yeah, okay, so we've got two each. Now, I've been putting it off because I've been hoping to get some bags with those in them, but um, we just haven't yet, so let's go ahead and go up a floor. Um, don't have anything right around the edge. Hello, zombie. Not sure why you don't want to break that down, but it's probably placed funny. Alright, um, anything in here? Nope. And these oddly shaped rooms are kind of playing with my mind a bit too. Alright, definitely need more of those. Oops, 
Well, actually, that's fine. Alright, so we'll go ahead and just put all of these in here. Um, and I've got the spawners in my inventory. So we can just drop the rest of the stuff in here. I probably should have kept that apple, but that's alright. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, there's their spawner. And there's a zombie. <laughs> Thankfully, they're, they seem to be normal zombies and spiders and stuff, so... Oh, it's just those old things. I was like, there's, there's something under the floor there, but no. Alright, so we got ourselves another spawner. And what have we got in here? Thomium? Uh, cold coke, uh, some steel, and some apples. Actually, I do need the apples. Uh, crowbar, those are easy to make, so don't worry about the rest of that. I'll come back for this stuff later. I don't know why I'm even picking any of it up at the moment, because I know I'll come back. Alright. Okay. Let's go here and dead end. It might just be easier to just get rid of all the walls <laughs> with my uh, my super powered mining and go around all these corners and such. Might be a little more dangerous to do that though, since you know we wouldn't be able to block off things. But hmm. certainly some spiders the next level up. I want to see what else is down here first. Hmm. Hello, Skelly. Oh, goodness. Yeah, super powered weapon here. Um, I think I've pretty much decided that I do want to not use this anymore. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, it's a little too powerful. Um... Like, not the weapon itself, well, uh, hey, that can be, um, but mainly because, like, I swing thing, you know, swing at a monster, and if I miss the monster, or he's taking damage, you know, too soon for him to take damage again, I'm going to destroy a wall without, you know, wanting to. So, I think I'm going to replace it with a sword and pickaxe. Um... Now, what level of sword and pickaxe? I'm not sure quite yet. Now, when we move into the Lord of the Rings mod stuff, I kind of want to use that armor um, while we're there. So, I'll probably be using those armor and weapons. Um, I might keep my bow. I'm not sure about that. But, I don't know. I've just pretty much started thinking of this in the last few hours or so. So, I haven't you know, decided anything concrete, but, you know, just to let you guys in, I know, you know, the process of what I'm thinking about, um, hello, spitter, but really, I'm just getting tired of, you know, blasting through a wall by accident, all right, let's get you, and floating diamond boots of lightness, jump boost when equipped, allows sneaking on air, Okay, so we've already got some stuff that's similar to that, but... Oh, what's this bow? Huh, power one. And that's what I think about. <laughs> but yeah, and I really want to get into Batania. I've been wanting to for a while now, and... We've just kind of been doing other stuff, and... I've been waiting for that to be in the Lord of the Rings mod area, but... I'm just kind of getting a little antsy and, you know, wanting to do that, but... Alright, so break that. Uh, we've got some mundane belts, some bones, nothing really special. I'm just going to put this stuff in here since I'll come back for it. Um, I might do the rest of this place off camera because, I don't know, it's not really all that interesting. I mean, I'm clearing it out and there's you know some spawner some places, but I hate to just you know, lapse into silence and not really talk to you guys about much while I wander around this place because it's getting kind of repetitive. I mean, it's really cool that it's here, but I don't know that it makes that good of um, content to watch. So, I know I'd be getting maybe a little bored at this point. But, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But if I find anything interesting, I'll jump back in and show you guys what I found. Alright?
So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, folks. So apparently there wasn't a boss or anything in here. It's just a little area that's off the side that kind of goes sort of near the roof. But yeah. So there wasn't really anything else all that interesting. I used up most of my draconic cores and I did find one bag so we can see what's in here. But there wasn't much else, honestly, else in there. Okay, so I got another gold coin and the splash potion of invisibility. And I got plenty of arrows stuck in me, so. <laughs> Alright, so I will see you guys back at base in just a minute. Okay, actually, folks, um, I did want to show you this real quick. Uh, I stumbled across on my way back. Um, watch where you're going when you're walking around along the floor because you might just stumble into one of these. Um, it goes all the way down to void, so, you know, just be careful. You know, know it's there. Watch out. And there are actually these uh, towers that spawn along the way, so. Um, we've seen these in the overworld and along the uh, oh, uh, Lord of the Rings mod areas, so. Yeah, so the, they're around too. I'm kind of waiting until I get my darkness damage, but it's not coming along too quickly. Hmm. And there's no countdown to it either. Okay, well, I was kind of wanting to show you guys that, but apparently it just doesn't want to take off, so... Yeah, well, I'll see you back at base. Alrighty, folks, so we're back at base, and I've let the quarry run for a bit, and I've got quite a few uh, materials here. But we're going to have to set up a better processing uh, system to actually get everything processed. Because we've got a bunch of ores that, you know, we don't have room to process at the moment. And I'm going to make the separate system for all of that. So I'm going to keep this stuff for processing anything that I need. Um, just like, um, say the burnt quartz, if I could do it in the redstone furnace, you know, things like that. Or if I need to pulverize some silver so that I can, you know, make some more enderium. So, all that kind of fun stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple things that I have done while I've been waiting for everything to process. Um, I've made this MEIO port. And what this does is if you stick a disk in here, um, it'll transfer it... Uh, according to the arrow we've got here. So if I've got a full ME disk and I put it in here, it's going to drain whatever's in that disk over to the drive system. So for example, um, actually I didn't need to do that. Um, I don't know that this is actually going to do anything because, well, my system's exactly full. Yeah. Oh, okay. It did drain. So, as you saw, there was, like, 14 types in there originally, and then they went straight over into the drive. So, now this one's empty, and I can potentially, you know, shift right-click it and use the storage component, you know, to go ahead and make a bigger drive, but I don't need it at the moment, so. Okay. Um, as, as you can see, all the ones that were green are all now yellow, so that's where everything else went. Alright, so let's... I don't want to put it in there, I want to put it back in here. Alright, and that's something I definitely need to upgrade before I do much more mining, because the biggest ones I... Well, I mean, I've... Actually, the biggest ones I have are the 4K drives that I've gotten here, and all these are 1Ks. So, all that's pretty small, and I don't have that many of them. Um... We do have four here that have maxed out on their capacity, but mostly I just need more drives, period, because all these are yellow. So the yellow is just saying, hey, we, we're full on types here, but we're not full on the numbers of those items that we can hold. So, you know, for example, if I had a bunch of stone, you know, in one of these that were yellow, I could put more stone in there, but I couldn't put, say, a ender bag. So, all right. And let's go ahead and grab these off of here, because there's no reason to have them. Because what the diamonds do is they personalize chests so that other people can't get in them. But since there's nobody on here but me, that's not a big deal. 
Um, I have been draining the stone that we've been getting from the quarry into this so that I can create a singularity. Um, and this is where my 64k uh, drive went. You can only use... Um, well, actually, you might be able to use the ones that are higher than 64k that are done by uh, extra cells. But you need at least a 64k ME drive to be able to make a singularity. So... It takes a full 64k to make it, so that's a lot of items. What did it say on there? Uh, 256,000? So, yeah, that's quite a few. And I've also upgraded this area in here. Uh, we've got the same basic concept that we had before with just the three. The um, I think it was these three that I had in here. Um, but I've just got storage buses and export buses. Um, you can do it with just the storage bus. You don't have to have the export bus, but if you do it with just the storage bus, as um, so you can see on here, uh, it has input out mode, so it's bi-directional. Um, it's so slow though, and you can't use it, uh, use acceleration cards on this for some reason. Um, I think that's something that I should add because it does about one item every I don't really want to say every tick because I think that's too fast um, I think it's one item every two or three ticks so not quite a second but maybe one every two ticks but yeah it's pretty darn slow um, it's almost one per second but now yeah, I don't know well but yeah so I put the export buses and I can upgrade these with acceleration cards if I want to, but I haven't yet at this point, so I'll probably do that later once I have more materials, but I haven't done it yet. Um, okay, uh, looks like those have done processing. And the other thing I've done, and the thing that we're going to wrap this episode up on, is I've added these coke ovens. So as you can see here, I've got eight ME import buses, export buses, and fluid import buses. So what I want to do is have coal, um, actually coal blocks, because it's just more efficient that way as far as time goes, I think. I'm pretty sure, but anyway. Um, I'm going to have coal blocks exported from the AE system into here, and then they're going to cook up and turn into coal coke blocks, which are a heck of a lot more efficient as far as energy you can get from them are. So I'm going to then um, export those into these survival generators, which is just going to be silly as far as efficiency goes. Um, do I need to do that? No, I made another two of these lava generators, <laughs> so it's actually kind of pushing my lava agenda to the limit. Every once in a while, I say this was full earlier, but apparently it's not full now. So say all of these were full. So I'm going to have to check on that and see what's up. I may have run out of room as far as my ender pump goes, um, but not sure. It looks like it's still producing a little bit. So maybe four is just too many for that. But yeah, anyway, so I'm going to have these go into those generators over there and they're going to produce extra energy for me. So I'm also going to have the creosote oil um, pumped out of these and into the AE system. So that's going to be really nice, totally automated, and I don't have to worry about it at all, which is going to be great. All right, so what I do need to do, let's say, as you can see, I'm taking up a lot of, uh, a lot of channels over here. We've got all eight of the channels on this one. We've got seven on this one. And they're all going into this. Uh, this one doesn't even have a line. I guess, yeah, it's only got, what, four? Three? Okay. So three channels on this one. Um, I don't know that I really want to hook it up into that line, though. But the thing is, I'm going to have to because I'm going to have three for each of these, so it's going to be 24 total. Hmm, it might need its own line. Interesting thought. I don't think I have enough wool to make 
enough though so we're gonna have to see but I'll show you at least this first one just so you can see what is going on because otherwise you know it may not be clear so let's go ahead and just do this um, I'm sure the export has to be on the bottom and I'm pretty sure the other one can be on the side all right so let's go ahead and we'll just throw a torch down here okay um, don't need that out at the moment. Let's just throw this over here. All right, so we've got the import buses, the export buses, and the fluid imports. Okay, so let's go over one more and do a fluid import, and let's put these next to each other, and a regular import, and likewise on this side. Okay, so we need the fluid back there. So let's go ahead and pop these on here, like so. Okay, have that come up to here. And then, I love these multi-parts. I mean, that pretty much everything is a multi-part these days. So that's pretty awesome. Because, you know, before, you could only just have stuck the one export on here. And that's all you could have done. You couldn't have done both sides. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so I can probably go ahead and run this over here like this. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get this wrench out. I went ahead and went back to just the normal crescent wrench because that toolbox was annoyingly uh, crappy. All right, so we've got four and then five, six. Is this overloading anything? It looks like it might be. All right, so we've got just two channels from here. Okay, so no, we've got everything just fine, I think. Let's go ahead and check up here just to make sure nothing's the wrong color. These little lines right here, the bars that are connected to the frame of it, will tell you, hey, you know, something's wrong here. Because it'll turn like a pinkish color, uh, whitish pink, and basically that'll let you know hey, um, you've got more channels going on your cables than you can handle. Alright, yeah, so this is already pretty high. Hmm. I think I'll probably go ahead and run these, but I'm going to do it like this because it's just a little better this way, in my mind at least. Um, I'll need another one of these dense cables coming along this length because actually I probably won't even need that um, because I need more storage over here as well for items that I just have a ton of so hmm. yeah I'm probably gonna have to yeah I'm definitely gonna have to run another one but for now it's not gonna be that big of a deal alright so let's go ahead and finish setting up this one and then we'll probably break off there to check the time I think we're we're probably going to end about the 25 minutes, I think. I'm just guessing at the moment. I know it was about 16 when I started, but... Alright, so... I'm going to put that there. Um, Alright, so we need... Coal blocks. Okay. And since we're just doing it for a filter, I only need one. Alright, so... I think I put it on the inside. I should have. All right, yeah, it should be this one. Oh, this is the import. All right, so export. Should export these coal blocks, yep, right into here. So then that'll start cooking up, and then it'll turn into coal coke here, and that's when it'll be extracted down here. And then the same for the liquid, it's gonna be extracted, so. That is how that works. Awesome. Yeah, I love being able to automate this because it's a pain in the butt if you don't automate it. I mean, honestly, it, it yeah. Especially with all of the buckets that you have to do manually to get the creosote out of the tank. So, and you have to do that fairly often, so, yeah. Especially having the extra cells is just, it's great. Now, I do, I really am missing my thermal expansion pipes, but... 
having pretty much everything being able to be stored within the A system with the extra cells is amazing. So that's kind of making up for it. Alrighty, so I will be back in just a second. I'm going to check the time and see how that's going. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, so I've got these pipes kind of going everywhere at the moment to access this one. And we've got 30 of 32. And the way I did that was I connected all of these to a dense cable over here. So that's what's going on. So I've got these going everywhere. It's not necessarily the most efficient, but we've got it going. So that's awesome. All right, now we've got all of these going as well. So I've got a ton of coal coke uh, coming up here and we should maybe have some buckets already of the creosote wall. I'm not sure if one of them is finished or not. All right, so let's go up there and check. Let's go and dump this all in here as well. There's the dense camel. All right. And actually those are kind of tanking my FPS for some reason. Um, I mean, they're not that special, I didn't think, but I don't know. So I'm running what, 24, 25 in here, so. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It might be something else entirely. All right, so let's go ahead and check this right here. And no, it doesn't look like we've got any in there yet. But as soon as some of those start finishing up, then we should have a few. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Should be about 30 minutes, so that's a pretty good stopping point. Um, next time, we're going to go ahead and work on... Uh, the automatic processing over here um, that way I can free these up to do manual processing and have a separate network over here to handle everything else alright so until next time I hope you all have a wonderful day